in this video we start with some uh, applications of uh, factor groups okay so um, next I will move into another theorem but for the moment I want to give a quick example of a quick application of uh, factor groups so the example is the converse of the Lagrange theorem is false okay let me quickly remind you what the Lagrange theorem is if G is a finite group and H a subgroup of G so H is a subgroup of G then the order of the subgroup divides the order of the group meaning if H is a subgroup of G the order of H will divide the order of G moreover the number of distinct left and right cosets of H in G is um, the division so it will be this number the, the index what we call the index number this is the index number it will give you the um, the number of left and right cosets of uh, H now the question is is the theorem says if H is a subgroup of G the order of H will divide the order of G now we are checking here if a certain number divides the order of G is that true yes or not is that true that there will be a subgroup H such that it will divide the, 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 the group G is this true or not so if N divides G um, if N divides the order of the group this group has a subgroup of that order yes or not we are going to check that so this will be the converse here okay and we are going to check that um, this is not true so this is the example converse of Lagrange theorem is false there are plenty of examples for this plenty just google it you are going to find hundreds of ways to prove this and all that but I'm going to use here I want to use the factor groups okay to prove this so this is a particular particular way to do it okay in our example we are going to take a4 the group of even permutations of the set 1 2 3 4 okay so what is the order of for, uh, the symmetric group for s4 that's 24 right and the the even permutations the alternating group that is uh, 12 right okay so for instance we can see that 6 divides 12 so does that imply so that's the converse of Lagrange theorem that there is a a subgroup of a4 of order 6 that um, divides uh, a4 so since this exists well no no not exactly this but is there a subgroup 
you see, is there such a sub subgroup H? Okay, let us see if there is a subgroup H of order 6, a subgroup of A4. Okay, in order to get a contradiction, so we will get a contradiction, let us suppose that, yes, uh, A4 has a subgroup of order, let us say, 6. So H would be a normal subgroup of A4, right? Okay, let us use the, the factor groups and see what would be the order of what would be the order of the factor group A4 by H? Well, that would be the order of A4 uh, is 12, right? The order of H would be 6, okay? So that will be 2, right? So this group exists, this factor group, a4 by h, this, four, this group exists, and the order of this group will be 2. Okay, but do not forget that the order of an element always divides the order of the group. So if we have a in g, the order of a will always divide the order of g. Okay, you can check that in previous videos. Okay, so since the order of an element divides the order of the group, we will have a h two. That would be a squared h, and that would be h, right? For all a in a4. So a squared should be in H, right? For all A in the alternating group 4. So now you can you can pick any table. You have tables for these groups in, in my previous videos. Okay. And observe that A4 has nine different elements of A squared. Okay? All of them, all those nine elements, should belong to H, to the subgroup. All those nine elements. Okay? But this is a contradiction, because H has order 6, so H cannot have 9 elements. So this is clearly impossible. So, a subgroup, so, so, um, a subgroup of order 6 cannot exist in the alternating group A4. So we reach a contradiction and this proves that um, the converse of the Lagrange, the converse of the Lagrange theorem is false because 6 divides 12, 6 divides 12, but the alternate 12 is the order of the alternating group 4, A4, but there is no subgroup of order 6 in A4. So this was one way, one application of the factor groups. Okay, so we used here the factor group.